The topic of this video is graphing exponential functions. Let's look at a problem. Graph f of x equals 1 half to the x power by hand by completing the table and plotting the points. Okay, so once again, we can show that we are dealing with an exponential function by comparing to the definition. If c is 1 and a is 1 half, then this is the function that we will get. So we're dealing with an exponential function. Let's plug in the points one at a time. First, f of x is the same as y, so we have y equals 1 half raised to the x power. And if x equals negative 2, then y equals 1 half raised to the negative 2 power. Now, there's a rule from intermediate algebra that you may not remember. It says that a over b raised to the negative n power is the same thing as b over a raised to the positive n power. In other words, when you have a fraction raised to a negative exponent, you can just flip that fraction over and change the negative exponent to positive. So that's the tip we're going to use here. We're going to write this as 2 over 1 raised to the positive 2 power. Of course, 2 over 1 is just 2, and 2 squared is 4. So when x equals negative 2, y is 4. Let's try another one. If x equals negative 1, then y equals 1 half to the negative 1, which is the same thing as 2 over 1 to the positive 1, which is the same as 2 to the first power, which is 2. Next value of x. If x equals 0, then y equals 1 half to the 0 power. Well, any non-zero number raised to the 0 power equals 1. All right, next, if x equals 1, plugging in here, we get y equals 1 half to the first power. Well, anything to the first power is itself, so this is just 1 half. And finally, with a 2 instead, we get y equals 1 half squared. Well, 1 half squared is the same thing as 1 half times another 1 half. 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, so we get 1 fourth. Okay, great. So... Now we have all of our points. We're going to replace the fractions with decimals, just because it makes it a little bit easier to understand the graphing. 1 half is 0 0.5, 1 fourth is 0 0.25. And then let's plot our points. First of all, this is an exponential function, and all exponential functions of this form, f of x equals capital C times a to the x power, have a horizontal asymptote sitting on top of the x-axis, so we'll draw that. We'll plot our five points, and then when we connect them, we'll make sure to approach that asymptote. Negative 2, comma 4 would be here. Negative 1, comma 2 would be here. 0, comma 1 would be here. 1, comma a half would be here. 2, comma a quarter would be here. When we connect our dots together, and we approach the asymptote. And there we go, we've created our graph. Now, if you've already seen the video that shows the graph of 2 to the x power, we can now make a comparison between these two. 2 to the x power looks like this. 1 half to the x power looks like this. So it appears that it has re re reflected this around the y-axis. It has spun the entire graph around the y-axis. This is important to keep in mind. Uh, whenever you're dealing with an exponential function, the base a, the growth factor, must be a positive number. But if that number is less than 1, meaning that it's between 0 and 1, like 1 half, we get this shape. But if it's greater than 1, like 2, we get this shape. 